Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In this video, I'm going to share with you my two-step process for retouching skin in Lightroom Classic. We're going to jump right into it with step one. Step one is I remove or lessen any blemishes on the person's face. Now, what I consider to be a blemish are pimples, blackheads, and sometimes those red patches that someone might have and dry skin. To me, those are blemishes. What I don't consider to be a blemish are scars, moles, things that are more permanent to someone's face. I won't remove those unless I'm specifically asked to do so. Now on this image, she just has really three tiny pimples. She has one on each cheek and she has one on her chin, just really below her lip. Now to remove the blemishes, I use the spot removal tool. I use it in heal mode. I'll have feather at 100, opacity at 100, and I wanna get a brush that has the center circle that's just a little larger than the blemish, and you could affect the size of the brush with the bracket keys. The left bracket key makes it smaller, right bracket key larger, and again, I just want that center circle to be a little bit bigger than the blemish. I'll go over the blemish and click once, and that blemish is gone. I'll go over on this other blemish, click once, and that blemish is not good because it didn't sample a good area. So I'll just take this circle and I'll move it over there. And I think that looks better. So that blemish is now gone. Now this blemish under her lip is slightly larger. So I'm going to get a larger brush by hitting the right bracket key. And I'm going to click once right on it. And I really don't like where it's sampled either. So I'm going to move that a little bit that way. And that's better. So three clicks and I got rid of the three blemishes. Step two and the final step for retouching skin, at least as far as I'm concerned, is to soften the skin. And I'm going to use a brush for that. And if we open up the brush tool and we go to the right of effect, you'll see there's a little drop down here and there's actually two brush, pre two brush presets in Lightroom for skin softening. If we go down towards the bottom, you'll see there's softened skin and softened skin light. I most often use soften skin light, but for this demonstration, I'm going to use the straight soften skin because I want to show you something else. So I'm going to use that preset. And you can see when I use that preset, it moved three of the sliders around. Now what I want to do is I want to make the image much smaller on its preview here. So we're going to go over on the left hand side and we're going to go up to the top and I'm going to go to one to eight. And you can see it's just made it way smaller. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the right bracket key and get a brush that is humongous. I want that center circle to cover all the skin on her face, neck, and shoulders. So just like that. Then I'm going to go over here on the right hand side and at the bottom I'm going to click auto mask. All right, what auto mask means, wherever I click, it's only going to affect pixels that are similar in tone, texture, and color of where I clicked. So basically, now since I have this huge brush, if I just put that plus sign, let's say over her cheek, and I click once with the left mouse button, it's only gonna affect uh, pixels that are the same uh, texture, color, and tone that is right underneath that plus sign. So effectively, it's only going to affect her skin. So I'll click once, and it softened her skin. Now I'll go back on the left-hand panel, and I'm going to go back to fit and you could see that it softened her skin. There's before and there's after. Now the reason why I don't often like to use the, just the straight softened skin and I prefer the softened skin light is to me softened skin is a little bit too heavy. But if you ever use a brush and after you're done using the brush you feel like it was a little bit too much and you want to lessen it, instead of coming back in and just reducing or moving the sliders that have been moved in the opposite direction, just go towards the top where this little triangle is and click on it. And when you click on it, you'll collapse everything down and you'll have an amount slider. Then you could just take the amount slider and just dial everything down. So it's kind of like, uh, like a volume control. You can see if I go all the way down, we have no skin softening at all. If I go all the way up, we have 100% of skin softening. But if I go somewhere in the middle, I think it looks a little more natural. And then you could fold that open when you're done. So that's it. That's my two-step process 
for processing skin. Now, skin only. I didn't touch the lips, the teeth, the eyes, anything like that. But that's just the skin in Lightroom Classic. To me, it works real well, and it's very uh, a very fast way to process skin, and I think it works uh, well for me. Let's put it that way, and I hope it works well for you as well. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>